I sometimes wonder if Luigi ever has to empty this bag. Hello and welcome back to more Let's Play Luigi's Mansion! In the last part, we unleashed a small army of boos upon the world. And then uh, we went back inside the mansion and caught 9 of the 50 back. So basically we're solving our uh, own problem here, but there are lots of other ghosts that were already here before we got here that we still need to catch, and is exactly what we're going to do. Now with our handy dandy brand new ability... Okay, apparently that's a little odd. Um, in the last part, we got this fire medallion, which um, I guess we're getting again now. I don't really know why. I saved immediately after I got this, but whatever. Hey, don't need to listen to EGAD again. We know exactly what this is. It gives our vacuum the ability to become a flamethrower for really no discernible reason. Yes, yes, EGAD, please shut up. EGAD, please shut up. Thank you. Yes, fist pump of victory now. Let us engage in flamethrower-based activities. Mainly, lighting candles. Sadly, because, uh, ghosts being ghosts, well, they unfortunately don't really, uh, burn as well as you'd hope they could. So, really, you're not going to be using the flamethrower for exactly what you would expect you to be using it for. But, hey, whatever. Got a key. Gonna put that right in my pocket. And we're gonna open that door. The f Room right there, let's go! Oh well, yeah, we also met a nice fortune teller who told us if we find anybody's lost belongings, she can, like, read the sensations from them or something. Whoa! No! Golden Mouse! Whole lot of money! It's just like the Speedy Spirit, except, um, you know, a mouse. Give me the money! Oh, give me the money! Okay, awesome. <laughs> and that, bo that ghost likes to throw bombs like bowling balls. But I ignored him completely, because I was full of the money needing. Shut up, Ghosty Joe, no one likes you. Alright, here we are in the whatchamacallit. The laundry room, of course, hang on. And Mario's hat. Whoa, Taffy Ghost, get out of here. I don't have time for you, must reclaim my brother's lost hat. There we go. You found Mario's hat, and it's been laundered recently. That's awesome. And here's a really funny thing that Luigi says that I like. Now honestly, no, now honestly, when it comes to hats, they really must be hand washed. There's simply no substitute. I know my brother likes to put his hat through the washing machine, but that just seems careless to me. <laughs> I don't know, I just always kind of liked that the Mario just always threw his hat in the washing machine with. And Luigi was all like, no, no, I, should, I need to take care of my hat much better than being hugged! Hugged by ghosts! Get out of my kitchen! Or laundry room, get out of the laundry room! That too. Ah, the nerve of these ghosts and their nuns. Oh, more! You know, I don't care. You think I can? I don't give a. Ah, I'm being hugged again. What is with you ghosts and hugs? I'm normally more than happy to give hugs. If they just simply asked for hugs, I'd be more than happy to give them to them. But, ah, I don't like b being taken advantage of. Get out of my house! Yeah! There we go. Yeesh! That was a pain in the tuckus. Oh, gobs of money! That's always fun. And there's a ghost somewhere in here. Oh, uh, apparently there was money in that bucket. Weird. All right. Up in here. Nope, that's a boo ball. Ah, okay, don't want that. Uh, is there anything in here? Ghost! Yow, get down. I'm boogie. A dancing ghost. Ah, get in here. There we go. And that's 10 of the 50 ghosts completely caught already. Well, not the portrait ghost, just the booze, but, you know, whatever. Just go in here. Oh, what is all this? The butler's room? Apparently there was once a butler living in this land. Very interesting. I do believe we should probably go and say hi to the good butler right now. Well, that's right, I know exactly where he is, and he's actually roaming the hallways. If you watched the last episode, you might know exactly what I'm talking about. Whew, okay. He's wandering right around here. There he is. Oh, will you st What's with these ghosts and constantly vomiting up bombs? Oh, wrong button. There's the whole good butler. What's he have to say? Ah, oh, the beautiful melody will not give me the time of day. What do I do to win her? Passion! Yes, that's it. I will show her how I burn for her. My unbridled passion will scorch her soul. And he basically just gave us a little hint as to what exactly we need to... Ah! Okay, weird. Of what we need to do to get his attention. Light his candelabra, and it turns out he's scared of fire! 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 Run away! Run away! This butler is so terrified of fire that he uh, carries a candelabra around him with the entire time. And even though he's exact, he's running away from fire, 
he continues to carry the candelabra along alongside with him because I guess he's not a very smart butler. <laughs> I don't know, I imagine he died in a very stupid way. Now I kind of like to wonder, how did all these people in the mansion die? The portrait ghosts? I mean, it's implied that they were originally people, but I don't know. Anyway, he goes in yonder, and oh, he's a ghost right in light. You'll, you won't see that very often, I assure you. Alright, and now he's in here. And he will sit down and try to relax with the fire that he's oh so afraid of. In just a moment. There we go. And lift you. Okay, now you're going in the vacuum. Uh, sorry, lover butler man. You'll get absolutely no chance with a lovely melody, whoever that is. And you will get in the vacuum in one try. Booyah. Ha <laughs> ha. I am doing way better with these portrait ghosts than I did the last time I played this game. Booyah. Give me a key. All right. Right in the pocket you go. All right, and ah, I like this next, I like the next room. We'll go there immediately after, uh, well, I guess I'll recharge my flamethrower. There we go. Oh, okay, now we just need to find the hidden boo. There he is. You found me, peekaboo. Aha, you are a pun within a ghost. Get out of here. Every last one of these, why are all these boos puns? I just don't get it. Well, I get the puns, but I don't understand why they're named after puns. It's all very odd. But whatever, wait a second. If I remember correctly, Secret room! Ha-ha! Oh, so many ghost bats! Ghost bats, ghost bats, ghost bats! You're in the hidden room! Full of all sorts of goodies. Let us open them up. Money! Gotta love money. What's in here? A ghost! Oh, a nice ghost! He doesn't like what? Ah, a nice ghost. You must use your flamethrower powers in order to defeat the dreaded ice ghost. And then you can, because he's like a block of ice stuck in his chest, and if you burn it, then you can catch him. It's weird. And anyway, that one's empty. No, don't call for Mario. Come on, that just whoops you again. Up uh, there we go. Having some technical difficulties with my vacuum cleaner, and apparently money just flew out of the chandelier. I'm good with that. Oh, another one, really? Why so many? There we go. I don't care much for these ice ghosts. Ugh. Okay, now. This and another ice ghost. Why? Oh, why am I not surprised? Well, I'm gonna get punched, aren't I? There! He missed, luckily. Okay. Sheesh! Alright, what's in here? Even more money! Whoa! Okay, hang on. A sapphire! I love the Mario 3 sprite of Luigi in the corner. An emerald! And finally, a ruby! All the precious stones of the third generation of Pokemon. Pretty badass, not gonna lie. And a ghost! It's my own self, Gumbu. Okay, whatever. Get in the vacuum. I don't have time for your puns and your nonsense. There we go. And all's well. Yes, yes, yes. I'm well aware of how amazing I am, Egad. Please shut up. Alright, now we just gotta open this up. And more money! Ha <laughs> ha! Oh, the green and red monies. I'm good with this. And that was the hidden room. Okay, actually, I think I have to reopen it. Yep, yeah. oh, Dally! Oh, I'm sure, gl I'm sure glad that's not how all doors work in real life, because that's awful. And just in case you're curious of this here door right here, it's a fake. If you try to open it, you'll get crushed, and you will lose money, and I don't want to do that, so I'm not going to. So, let's just try and ignore as many ghost bats as we possibly can, and that jerk. Yeah, seriously. It's creature- see, these are the type of things you'd expect to come out and try to chase you when you're walking back to your room from the bathroom in the middle of the night. Yeah, you know that. You, I'm, I'm not the only one. Anyway, open up the door, and oh, how I love this room indeed. It is the music room. Oh, the conservatory, but whatever. I just call it the music room. There is, in fact, a very ghostly la lady type right here. Hmph, this ragamuffin looks as if he couldn't play a note. Oh, are you questioning the Ouija man's musical abilities? Oh, oh my friend, you are wrong, 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 wrong. Luigi is so talented in the musical arts that he doesn't even need to actually be playing them in order to, to, create, in, to create a band. In fact, he will play every last one of the instruments in this room without even actually touching any of them. We shall start with these things. I think we need a little harp on this situation. That was not a harp. All right, a little bass would, you know, get some mojo running. 
And we all might want to drum up some action up in this place. And Xyloflown the hell out of it. How's that for musical talent, m'lady? She seems to be grooving to it. My name is Melody. People call me the spectral beauty of the Ivory Keys. Now well, that's fancy. What a stirring performance. I haven't been so charmed by a piece for ages. Well, I'm glad you enjoyed it. It's, uh, it's a nostalgic song for me, uh, you know, from my childhood. You know, hope you liked it. You must have a delicate ear for music. Would you like to listen to my piano sonata? Sure. Well, here I go. What image do you think the piece's composer had in mind while writing it? I'm gonna go on a limb and say that guy was probably thinking about water. Exactly right! You got it! Very impressive. I guess I needn't hold back with you. But you can't do battle with my lovely music sheets. Wait, what? Ah, dang! How'd this go from a friendly jam session of musical... Uh, musical uh, fishing autos to a battle of brawn and wits and blustics and... That's not even a word! Okay. Get in my vacuum, lady. Your music was pretty, and I'm sure you are a nice woman in life. But right now, you've got to move on. Oh, please don't let that touch me. Don't let that touch me. Uh, okay, I seem to have got her stuck in a corner here, and holy cow, one try. This is seriously supernatural. I was expecting significantly more screw-ups in this uh, particular run-through, but hey, I ain't arguing with it. All right, what's up here? Up oh, key. Awesome possum. What do we have now to go to? Ah, that room. I, do, I enjoy that room, too. Actually, there's pretty much not a single room in this game that I don't enjoy. So, let's see. Where's that cursed ghost hiding? Is he over here? No, but there's money. Okay. <laughs> uh, and some sort of poster. Well, hang on, hang on. I need to destroy this. There we go. Tacky art must be destroyed. Are you in there? Are you in here? No. Where on earth is this crazy critter? Are you in here? No. Oh, wait. Wait. Almost. No? I'm confused. Where is this ghost hiding? Okay, he moved. I am so confused! Okay, are you... The radar is not really giving me a concrete... Wait. The, the chandelier thingy? No? Okay, well, according to this, I'm standing right next to it. I'm confused. I can't... Where are you, ghost?! I'm shaking everything! Okay, wait. Okay. Here? Where are you? This is really starting to rustle my jimmies! Okay, apparently you're- are you in here? No? Where are they? I don't get it! What am I missing here? There's only so many places this stupid ghost could be hiding! I will vanquish you! You think I don't have any- you think I have anything better to do? And spend, like, my entire Tuesday night just hanging out in this particular room of the video game and trying to find a freaking go- Oh! No, he's still not there. Are you in here? Move into a, one of the places I am vacuuming. This is getting insulting. Are you- Just go on the piano! That's the obvious choice! I am really starting to get agitated here. Uh, I'll be back. Finally! Wherefore, I'll, wherefore am I, Boomio? I don't give a damn! Get out of here, you freaking waste of space! Ugh! Okay, I despise Boomio. I, I didn't care for Romeo and Juliet either. It was kind of pathetically overrated, I've got to say. Huh. <sighs> Just like its namesake took me far too long. That was very frustrating. Consider my jimmies officially rustled. Alright, now let's get in here, and there are banana peels on the floor, must make sure to clean all that up. And the dining room, oh boy, okay, there's a big fatty, fat, 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 fatty, fat, fat, fat guy here. Let's just, uh, see what's going on over here. I mean, come on. No one can see me in the darkness, no one, no one, no one, ha ha ha, okay, whatever, I can still see a very fat face, fatty, fat, fat. What I'm gonna do is, there we go. Now, we need to, oh, okay, first of all, we need to get rid of this tablecloth, there we go. Yeah, well, there we go. We need to get rid of this fatty fat fat's butlers. 
Once he's run out of butlers, they can't get him any more food, and we can steal all of his food, and he'll be all like, well, you stole all my food, I guess I'm gonna have to destroy you, and then we can begin our battle something proper. But he still has a butler to destroy, so what's going on? There you are! Okay, I need to be a bit more careful here. These ghosts, you need to, like, actually, like, surprise them, not just sort of walk up to them. It's kind of annoying. There! Okay, apparently not! Yeah, he has heartburn. Terrible, terrible heartburn. Not sure how this is working, but you know what? I don't care. Come on, hurry up. Show your heart. Eventually, he's just gonna tire himself out, and he won't have any choice but to to submit to the vacuumy powers of Luigi. At least I assume that's what's supposed to happen. Get tired. Am I missing something? I'm pretty sure this is exactly what I was supposed to do. I'm almost positive! He's supposed to just get tired! Ah! The burning sensation and everything! Ah, my hat! There! He finally got tired the- Are you freaking serious? Get in the vacuum, you fat beluga whale of stupidity! Gah! Of course, this would be the one I screw up on the most. Fireballs die! That's what I have to say! Get in the vacuum, get in the vacuum, get in the vacuum, get in the vacuum, get in the vacuum! Abba! Abba! And Costello! Ugh! Okay, this guy is giving me way more trouble than he really should be. Oh, are you freaking kidding me? I think I hate this guy more than I hate Boomio! Get in my vacuum! Oh my goodness, this guy. Ugh. Oh yeah, I forgot. This guy is completely optional. We didn't actually have to catch him, but he kind of asked for it. And we found a diamond. That's pretty boss, I'm not gonna lie. Get the gold bar and the pearls. And we're probably gonna get a really grody bronze frame for his post for his picture, but you know what? He doesn't deserve anything better. My name's Budacious, got it? Get back in the 90s, you accursed ghost of the demon world. Get and he ran away, okay. Yeah, I see you over there. Get your stupid face over here in the darkness. They don't really get captured as easily. Ah. And get in my freaking vacuum, you boost monsters! Ah. Okay, he's gone. Finally. Yeah, I, I, I'm on fire, you no kidding. I was lit on fire multiple times by a very, very fat man. Gee, you know how I was asking earlier how some of these ghosts died? I think I know how that one did. Oy. So annoying. Okay, you know what? We're going to end this video off by giving the fortune teller Mario's hat, and she can tell us what she sees from its, like, energies or something. You know, it's, it's Mario energies. All right, Madam Clairvoya, what's up? What is that object you have here? Show it, please, to Madame Clairvoya. W what is this? If it isn't Mario's hat, why it's so clean as if someone just washed it! Sorry, uh, sometimes I like to add a little drama, you know. Yeah, fair enough. I kind of like to do that, too. Hmm, just one moment. Did I just say Mario? Could it be that Mario? No, it's, uh, it's not Mario's hat. It's our long-lost brother's, uh, Antonio. Yeah, it's his hat. Ah, I see now. Well, I see everything, so I saw it before, but now I really see it. So you are the brother of the famous Mario, and you've come to this place to find him. Well, aren't you a good little brother? <laughs> <laughs> ah, excuse me, I don't laugh much. Oh, they come. Now the spirits come, come spirits of power, come spirits of sight. Show me the awful things occurring here tonight. Crystal orb, symbol of my clan, use your darkening power to show us all you can. Or could, I mean can, show us all you can, show us this Mario. The light of the spirit comes, show us what we seek. She really does like drama. Oh, hmm. I see that your Mario lives. Well, he's not in the spirit world, but one cannot say he is alive. <laughs> <coughs> uh, excuse me, sorry. Where is he? Where is he now? Ah, the spirits fall silent. Uh, this is all I can tell you for now. Bring me another clue and I will show your brother to you. This clue no longer speaks to us. Ah, uh, well, that wasn't very useful, but 
Thanks for trying, at least. Well, let's see if we can find any other of Mario's belongings on our epic quest to save him. And we will continue that in the next part. Hopefully you guys will stick around for the continuation of this epic saga of Luigi. I'll see you then. Luigi.